Okay. I think that's what we do for the Halloween episode, but we need an episode for Thursday and Tuesday. Yeah. So we have two holes. Two holes in the warm, this is the warm life calendar. This is it, this is how you plan a warm life. It's, yeah. it's a single calendar with a couple different colors. Don't, don't vacation. How was that? It was good. Oh, yesterday sucked though. June bug. Mm -hmm. Little Junie, my five-year-old. Yeah. Lost a tooth. Biking. Accident. Oh. Pavement. Uh, oh. Three teeth. They, Gone. Uh, they were baby teeth. Gone. Baby teeth. Okay. Luckily, baby That's... teeth. <laughs> I never trusted bicycles. I've never trusted something. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to leave the family forever if it weren't for your bike. Trusted bicycles. They seem dangerous. Doug used to drive a motorcycle. Did? Uh, no. I did. <laughs> <laughs> In high school, I was I was very disorganized as a youth. To get a license, a proper license, like a driving license, yeah. you have to like do a class and then a safety class and yeah. then a then. Like in order to drive alone, you have to go through this, like there's a whole process. Motorcycles, it's like a glitch. Yeah. The learner's permit allows you to drive by yourself. It seems like it should be the other way around, right? Well, driving like it should be harder to have to drive a motorcycle because it's more dangerous, no? Well, riding a motorcycle with another person is you need much more dangerous. Yeah, well, you need a license yeah. for that. There's no good way. Oh, well, yeah. When I was in high school, like, I didn't sign up for fucking driver's ed. Yeah. I didn't, like, do any of the things I'm supposed to do. Yeah. And, but I wanted to be able to, like, go do stuff. Yeah. And I was like, they're putting a lot of roadblocks in my way to endanger other people on the road. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, wow, I can buy a cheap used motorcycle for like 500 bucks, go take a written test to get yeah. a permit. You don't need to And know then I'm just a motorcycler. You do, do not need to know how to ride a motorcycle to get your motorcycle's permit. You go, you take a class, and it's the same as the regular learner's permit. There's no questions about shifting or a clutch or anything. You can just... Do it. And they're like, yeah, here you go. What fun. Everybody can just be on the road for no, like, no experience. That's, that's cool. Mm. That's cool that we can do that. God bless America. God. <laughs> God. We're actually five minutes away from the state where uh, you don't even have to wear a helmet. Rhode Island. Yeah, Rhode Island. Island, no helmet laws? Yeah. They don't care. Ooh, oh, yeah. that's America right there. <laughs> anyway, but Juniper lost pilot teeth. <laughs> Yeah. Biking, biking. Well, what she <laughs> I don't even know where to go with this story. No, she broke the front three teeth out of her mouth. Well, it sounds like sounds like she was pushing her limits, and she was and she was doing something pretty extreme. Speaking oh. of extreme, <laughs> there's a pretty cool brand that wants to work with. Well, I don't know. You know who's great at riding bikes? The people who are sponsored by Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, this is the worst setup ever. <laughs> Red Bull fucking emails us, so it's like, extreme sport, brr, fucking ass. My toddler fell off her bike and broke her toothies. Anyway, marketing <laughs> opportunity. Uh, 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 Red Bull is super cool. If you go on Red Bull's Instagram, it's nothing but like people riding bikes like out of planes and skydiving, like it's it's crazy. You don't ever actually see any Red Bull. Exactly, <laughs> and it's because they have a really cool lifestyle brand. And I'm like, oh, that's so cool. They have this whole thing. They mm -hmm. don't even post about their stupid drink. Why do people email? How do people email? Because you're every once in a while, because Catan just contacted us. So it's like, yeah. how do they get your contact? How do they know usually, about you? Usually they reach out to sales and sales redirects them to me. Ah. But not here, they, this, are you just reading this for the first time? This come from Red Bull Energy at. Is this a scam? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a total scam. This is a total scam. There's no way. No, There's no, no way. Red Out of the blue. Fucking, yeah. What are they gonna do? Parachute onto a game table? Like what the fuck is this? I think they want Red Bull featured in our Instagram reels when we put drinks. Oh. They want Jare and JV to share a Red Bull. Gamers do like Red Bull. No, actually, you know what? They also like that little monster. No, shh, shh, shh. I see Nick Trepanier. Uh, he's always kicking down those monsters. Yeah, and he's doing terrible because he has no wings. 
Uh, what does monster do? Sure, he's not doing Fangs. <laughs> <laughs> they want us to feature Red Bull on our Instagram. They so on their Instagram, they're gonna show extreme sports. And then on our Instagram, we're supposed to use our Instagram to be an ad for them. Because on, doesn't it seem a little weird? It's like on their Instagram page, we're not gonna put Red Bull here. We'll pay you to put Red Bull on your yeah, Instagram page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't that seem a little odd to you? How much Red Bull will they give us? We're, we're excited <laughs> to send you a selection. We're excited to send you a selection of our beverages for you to sample. We're yeah. cheap. We're cheap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're cheap. We'll do it. Matt, do you still have your tech deck stuff? My tech deck stuff? Do you mean like you don't know what a tech yeah, deck is? Fingerboards. What's a tech deck? Oh, tech deck. Do you I know fingerboarding. Hey. <laughs> I mean, I have one at my desk. What if you did it like a Red Bull esque like skateboard video on our table with the little fingerboard? Oh, we could. We filled the play yeah. area with like ramps and shit. It's like you remove the toppers, and there's a skate park for finger skateboarding. <laughs> and then maybe you get like a little grind on the rail and yeah. and the Red Bull's right there. Didn't Cans right there. Mac, didn't Mac wasn't he like Mac an was, expert fingerboarder? Mac was he yeah, Mac O Mac O is extremely good at fingerboarding. If we wanted some real fingerboarding action, we could we could do that. Cracking okay. some Red Bulls, yeah. watching Mac O doing <laughs> Ollies off the finger rail. I think it would be. <laughs> uh -huh. um, I love this. I'd also like to do something that people would actually use our table for. Maybe we could find a game that has to do with like kind of that extreme lifestyle. Oh, or, that we represent. or we inspire a new group of people who want this exactly. for their indoor uh, skate parks. Just fingerboard. The, finger, the fingerboard community is what we've been missing. Huge. Yeah. And where else are you going to keep a fingerboard skate park? Exactly. They're like big. Where else are you going to keep a fingerboard skate park? We have the best fingerboard skate park table in the market. Like, the only. Bar not. <laughs> the only. We could get a whole skate park and just put it in the table. Oh, a whole skate park in a game table? Yeah. And Red Bull? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big news. Yeah? <laughs> Big news on the BattleBot front. <laughs> oh, no way. So what ended up happening last time was they competed to be on the show. Yeah. And they didn't make the cut. They, I didn't know they lost. They had, two, they had two battles. The bot had two battles. Okay. One won, lost the other. What's the bot's name? Do we know? Fireball. You know, you know, Rocky lost his first he, fight. Yeah. And he was a champion. Everyone loves an underdog. He was a champion, and so's our bot. <laughs> so they're going back, and they're going for the uh, TV show again. And we still sponsor them, and I'm signing the release for them to uh, use our logo. Do it again. again. Send them some Red Bull. And hey, <laughs> <laughs> I looked into it. I think it was a scam. Is our bot Lil Rocky? Is he a flipper bot, a hammer bot, a spinny bot? What kind of bot is this? It was a long time. I haven't seen that. I remember the episode, but it was a long time. It has like a spinny grinder thing in the front of it, I think, too. Yeah. We got some footage. The battle that it won, it absolutely yeeted the other... Yeah, uh, can we get that footage again? We did get that footage. Yeah! Yeah! But yeah, exciting. Giant Nut Productions. What? Oh, you read it. Then we'll actually go to BattleBots. We'll go to Las Vegas, yeah. where they're filming it. Now yeah. that will be an interesting little journey. That's pretty cool. You gonna go? Red Bull, oh uh, no. Why not? I will not go to Las Vegas to watch BattleBots. I will not Waldman? drink more Red Bull. You wanna go? Yeah, probably not. <sighs> you guys are lame. I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm actually too cool. Like there's a difference. Like I'm not attending because I am too cool to attend. Waldman is lame. Whoa. Uh, what? Catan. We can also talk about Catan. Have you ever played Settlers of Catan? Ah, he's too cool. Yeah, and now he's too cool. When it comes to board games, it's like drugs. 
like gateway drugs, right? It's like you start off with a beer, and then you'll go to like hard liquor, and then maybe get into marijuana. Although kids might do it in a different order this nowadays. Yeah, it's more like Adderall than vaping. Then the yeah the order switched up since the early two thousands. Yeah. And they don't get it from like their friends anymore. They get it from their doctor. Really. Catan is sort of the marijuana of gaming. It's a gateway game. It's like Monopoly is like beer. Everybody's had a game of Monopoly every once in a while to take the edge off. Catan, it's a little bit more hardcore. It was made by Germans. Okay. They're board gaming people. And so as soon as you get into Catan, you're like, whoa, I've never played a board game like this. This is a totally different feeling. And then it makes you curious. That's that's the slope of hope. It is interesting though, because it's like, for example, we got hate when we showed people playing Monopoly on the MGT. If you play Catan on our table, people are like, nice. There's this pocket of games that gamers really like. What does actually separate Catan from Monopoly? Well, well no, honestly, because I do think it is similar to drug culture. It's like, yeah. Yeah. Everyone drinks beer and wine. Totally normal. But the thing is, when you turn into like a foodie and you turn into someone that's actually like, well, what's beyond just what people are used to? That's Catan. It's the first board game you play when it's not a board game you necessarily just grew up with that everybody like experienced. Catan is to board gaming what Attack on Titan is to anime. That doesn't help me at all. <laughs> Have you ever watched any anime? I don't think so. Dragon Ball Z! No. Dragon Ball Z is the monopoly. Dragon Ball Z um, is the monopoly yeah. of anime. Attack on Titan is the Catan yes. of anime. That's a I great way to put it. Like, Dragon Ball there Z is no monopoly of anime. There is. It's you called Dragon Ball fucking Z. You I are... don't think that's true. I'm gonna find you people who don't know Dragon Ball Z. I fucking dare you. You are going to embarrass yourself in this shop. <laughs> no, I'm no, 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 no. You can't fucking. This, this is not. Who want? You're not call a friend, right? <laughs> no. If you go out in the shop and you try to find someone who's unfamiliar with fucking Goku, that was not. You're gonna embarrass yourself. I never watched Dragon Ball Z. But I know about it. Exactly. Like, I know what Goku is. I know what Super Saiyan is. Yes. I know Kamehameha. I know Piccolo. I know the shit. Like, yes. I've never watched Dragon Ball Z, but I know all about it. Because it's that culturally relevant. Right, it's like yeah. Monopoly. Yes, it's exactly. li that's a great, it's like Monopoly. Yeah. It's like Monopoly. What percentage of Americans you didn't know what Goku is? Fucking 95% oh yeah. of Americans. No chance. Okay, it's not actually 95%. Does your mom know what Goku is? Yeah, she, she was like, stop watching the thing! Why is he yelling at the team? Why is this show so loud? Yeah. All right, so Red Bull. There you go. It vitalizes body and mind with taurine, lightly carbonated. All right, let's try it. <gasps> Tastes like um, Pez. No? No, I mean, I definitely would not drink that ever. <laughs> there, we go. Here, there we go. Mike. Qualpin, do you like Red Bull? Hold that. Let's get a. Get is it a, for me? Yeah. A yeah, of course it is. That's right, it is tasty. 